Hello Pisces and welcome to your reading by the Blessings Foundry. Today's reading will show you what messages and guidance you need to know from Spirit at the time you view this video. Spirit, please connect to the Pisces Collective and their guides, guardians, angels, ancestors, and higher selves in high vibrational energy to get the messages and guidance that Pisces needs for their soul's journey at the time they view this video. Let's see what we get for you today, Pisces. Spirit, what messages and guidance do you have for Pisces? Oops. One card, seven of wands on the floor. Hold on one second, guys. So for some reason, your guard may be up. The seven of wands is a card about having your defenses up, having your guard up, going to a defensive posture. This can also be that you're trying to hold your ground. We'll see what's going on in the seven of wands in a moment. What other messages for Pisces, please? What other messages do you have for Pisces, please, Spirit? What other messages for Pisces? And the next two messages we get for you today are the Nine of Swords. So we're seeing some type of defensive, anxious energy that's coming up in the collective's reading. So the eight, Nine of Swords can indicate sleepless nights, nightmares, anxiety, stress, the next card is the Eight of Wands. So this is actually like a breath of fresh air. You're moving out of this energy. The Eight of Wands can also be communication coming through. It's fast moving energy, applying your energy to get out of this restless. It's like a restless energy that I'm feeling. Let's see. What other messages do you have for Pisces? And we'll dive into this in a minute. What other messages do you have for Pisces, please, Spirit? I do feel the energy of communication coming forward towards you as well. The next card we have for you is the Knight of Cups, a romantic gesture or proposal. Somebody could even be making their way towards you with the emotional offer or action they want to take towards you. The Knights are actions, Cups are emotions. What other messages for Pisces, please? What other messages for Pisces, please, Spirit? The next card we have here is the Death card. This is Scorpio energy. Scorpio has been coming up quite a bit in your energy. We are just out of Scorpio season, but this is also transformation. So some, some energetic shift could be coming to you by way of an emotional change, action, or proposal, or gesture, and it's going to be transformative. Death is something you can't come back from. Death is permanent. It's a transformation. We'll dive into that more in a moment. Let's see what other messages we get. What other messages for Pisces, please, Spirit? You could also be having stress and anxiety, feeling some type of emotional way regarding an ending. You could be making a decision to end. Well, we don't have the card that says a decision. So I, I retract that. You could be taking action to end something. Because we're a little bit past decision point, decision making. The seven of wands, you've already decided. You're already standing your ground. You already know what you're willing to and willing not to stand up for. And then with the nine of swords, some of you may be thinking, I hope I chose the right thing a while back because now it's time to move forward and make the changes and I can't come back from here. The next card we have five of wands. This is change. This is chaos. This is stirring the pot. Five of wands. You could have multiple people around you. This is drama, chaos. I'm hearing the word clutter. So for some of you, some of you, this could also indicate there's some clutter around you. Then we have the Queen of Cups energy, your energy, really looking at your emotions, seeing things through the eyes of intuition. I, I feel here you may be making moves based on your gut rather than necessarily what you're seeing in front of you. Let's see what the Seven of Wands is. Spirit, what does Pisces need to know about the Seven of Wands? Please, why is the Seven of Wands here? Oh, my computer's helping me out again. We have the magician. Hold on one second, guys. Oh, it's my phone. Nope. So helpful. All right, so we have the seven of wands and the magician. 
You're standing up for what you want to manifest. You have the skills, talents, and abilities. The magician is a number one, as we can see here. So you're standing up for something new, something I'm hearing groundbreaking in your life. Let's see what this magician is. You're also standing up against people who might manipulate your emotions. Let's see what this magician is. Spirit, what do we need to know about this magician for Pisces? What is this magician for Pisces? The seven of wands with the magician can also indicate you're standing above the crowd. Your, your skills, talents, and abilities help you to stand above the crowd and stand above other options. And then we have the page of cups coming in. Page of cups, an apology, a romantic message, putting yourself out there for opportunities. I'm, I'm going to go one more layer into this grouping here and see what this page of cups is spirit what is this page of cups please what do we need to know about this page of cups please and for the page of cups we are getting the devil there's an apology coming your way for somebody's narcissistic controlling dark behavior um the page of cups is being clarified by the devil the devil's also Capricorn. So for those of you who have not been involved in a toxic situation, I'm hearing I'm hearing two things. Um, the first is related to an apology. Some of you have been involved in a toxic, manipulative energy. Magician with the devil, dark. This can also be dark magic. This is these two cards together literally represent dark. Um, dark magic but here we're seeing with the devil and the page of cups it could be a capricorn capricorn that wants to apologize apologize or during capricorn season an apology could be coming forward towards you so we have the nine of swords as the next primary card for the reading let's see what is this nine of swords please two cards for the nine of swords First one, yeah, somebody's really stuck in their head with anxiety. This could be you, but I feel this is external to you. The next card we have is a strength. It's going to take them a lot of strength, a lot of courage to come forward and make this an apology or make this apology to you. Um, they're also hoping that you'll be compassionate with them. What is this Eight of Swords, please? What do we need to know about this Eight of Swords? For the Eight of Swords, we... Okay, so this is too many cards for this. So what I'm going to do is I'll look at these cards and then put them back and pull Ask Spirit for more specific cards. The Empress. So you are the Empress to this person in this situation. And they want a new beginning. Or it could be that you've released this person wanting to have a new beginning, wish fulfillment. Okay, so Spirit's actually telling me to take these for the nine of swords because this is what's going on in this other person's mind this could also be that you freed yourself from a toxic unhealthy chaining binding situation and now somebody's realizing that you're you've rose above you've literally moved on your energy is shifted queen of swords feminine libra gemini and aquarius along with the four of wands You've gone on or are going on to have a new foundation. Let's see what this um, Nine of Cups is. Because the Nine of Cups here is representing what you want, your wish fulfillment. What is this Nine of Cups, please? For the Nine of Cups, you want to put a burden down. So you're not dealing with this ish anymore. What is this strength, please? Strength is Leo energy. What is this strength? Thank you. For the strength card, we're getting the Four of Pentacles. You're letting go. You, you are definitely letting go of something here. What is this four of pentacles? And as you let go, Pisces, the other energy or the other person is, is realizing they're feeling you let go and they're wanting to come in and hold on. What is this four of pentacles for Pisces? What is this four of pentacles for Pisces, please, Spirit? Like too little, too late. And then we have the knight of pentacles. They may come in and say they have real strong, genuine feelings for you, but you've already released the burden. You've already said, you know, okay, sera, sera, whatever will be, will be. Um, 
but here we're seeing that somebody is going to take action now that you you're letting go what is this eight of wands for pisces what does Pisces need to know about this Eight of Wands? Again, the Eight of Wands can be communication coming through. The Eight of Wands also does represent Cupid's love arrows coming towards you. I know, I know, I know. Get those love arrows away from me. I'm not trying to have any, right, for some of you. I hear some of you saying that. Then we have the Queen of Swords coming up for the second time. Again, feminine air energy, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius, along with the High Priestess. This is communication coming forward towards you potentially from somebody who has air in their chart it could also be very clear very concise very to the point as the queen of swords is intuitively you may have even felt as though this is, has been coming or you may have been expecting to hear from somebody what is this queen of swords please what do we need to know about this queen of swords thank you for the Queen of Swords, we are getting the Knight of Pentacles for the second time. So this is about, you know, we're seeing the really grounded, pragmatic energies here. One more card for this Queen of Swords, please. Somebody wants to take action, but it seems here you're disinterested. What is this High Priestess, please? <clears throat> what is this High Priestess, please, Spirit? For the High Priestess, yeah, you're, you're not interested. Here we have the Queen of Cups for the second time. Follow, oops, follow, following the four of cups. You have your own cup. Like, you know, we're seeing here, Pisces, that somebody may not have offered you something previously or may have shown up empty handed. And you made a choice to rise above that. You made a choice to move on. You made a choice to manifest something different. And now we have the stress and anxiety, feeling stuck, wanting to have the strength to come forward towards you, to approach you. But here we're having, you're not interested. You, you had enough of looking at the cups you had before. You had enough of this person's or this energy's cup coming towards you. And it wasn't really getting you anywhere. So you applied your energy and made changes, very practical changes, grounded changes for yourself, knowing what you want, listening to your intuition, and you got your own cup. So you're moving forward. You're like, no, I'm good. Like you don't, you, you're not needing anybody's cup, whatever their cup of Kool-Aid, their cup of love, their cup of BS whatever that is, and we see the Knight of Cups here, they're going to try to come again with a different offer. What is this Knight of Cups for Pisces, please? What is this Knight of Cups for Pisces, please, Spirit? Yeah, and literally they're going to try to come with another offer. Four of Wands coming up for the second time. Where was the Four of Wands? Here in the stress and anxiety this person has. Now, please, if this is your stress and anxiety about a situation, apply it appropriately to your situation. But we, I am feeling externally somebody or something is going to be coming towards you and wanting to have some type of foundation, wanting to celebrate something with you. What is this eight of wands here? Or to communicate. Yep. And then we have the magician again. So wanting to manifest a new opportunity with you. What is this four of wands, please? What is this Four of Wands? Thank you. For the Four of Wands, we're literally um, wanting to manifest a new beginning with you is what we just said. And now the cards are coming out to support that. The Ace of Wands, Aces are p potentials of new beginnings or the new beginning. Wands are passion. So it could be something very passionate that this person is wanting and I'm, I keep saying person, but I'm feeling like there's this energy. It's it's an energy around you, an energy around this person. So it's it might even be very dynamic, right? So what is this death card for Pisces? Oh, Spirit wants me to clarify the magician down one more. What is this magician, please? Why do we have this magician here, please, Spirit? And then we have the Queen of Swords coming out for the third time. Queen of Swords, again, Feminine, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. And what is this Ace of Wands, please? 
I am hearing, Pisces, that you have been on somebody's mind. What is this Ace of Wands, please? For the Ace of Wands, somebody wants to rapidly approach you, wants to come in with their truth, understand what your truth is may not be the same as what this other person's perspective or version of the truth is. Um, but we see the Queen of Swords and the Knight of Swords, swords being a lot of thoughts, a lot of communication, very fast moving energy. Let's take a look into this death card. Spirit, what do we need to know about this death card for Pisces? Why is this death card here? Two cards. The first one is the three of Cups and ending to a third party situation and ending to um, recognition rewards. Or no, I stand corrected. And ending to reconciliation. Followed by, here we have that choice. So somebody may be coming. There may have been an ending in a social dynamic or somebody may have wanted to have renewal, reconciliation with you. And now they're coming with a proposal that Knight of Cups, a proposal, where Two of Wands, you'll have a choice. What is this Three of Cups for Pisces? What does Pisces need to know about this Three of Cups? Please, thank you. For the Three of Cups, we are getting Tower, Sudden, Unexpected, Emperor, wanting to take charge of a situation, not, not showing their emotions. What is this Tower for Pisces, please? Why do we have the Tower here? Why do we have the tower here, please, Spirit? And for the tower, we have the three of pentacles, suddenly wanting to come together. What is this emperor, please? Wanting to build, wanting to wanting to rebuild what was previously destroyed or torn down or never even got off the ground. What is this emperor, please? What do we need to know about this emperor? Thank you. For the emperor, we're getting the Ten of Cups, wanting that happiness, wanting that emotional fulfillment. Let's take a look at this Two of Wands. What is this Two of Wands, please, Spirit? Two choices for this Two of Wands. The first one is to argue or st and state or stay in the energy. Or actually, Spirit saying you could argue. But here, you're realizing the person wanted what they wanted at any cost. It could have been, have been a multi-person multi -person situation, a selfish situation, backbiting, bitterness. But here you have a choice to walk away or a choice to continue to work on something that may not have been really working. Let's see what this Five of Wands is. Spirit, what do we need to know about this Five of Wands? For the Five of Wands, we are getting the Page of Wands, wanting to talk. Wanting to clear up the drama, not wanting to have drama, wanting to move forward, having clear communication, page of wands being good news coming in. What is this page of wands, please? For the page of wands, king of wands, one more card for this page of wands. Wanting to take control over the situation, no longer wanting to be feeling as though they're out in the cold. For some of you, you have literally shut somebody or something out of your life. Let's take a look into these. What is this King of Wands? King of Wands is masculine, fire, energy, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. What is this King of Wands, please? The King of Wands also, you know, takes charge of a situation. But here, there's this is, you're at a place where change is inevitable or you can't move forward. Like, you're not going to move forward. The death card is also Scorpio energy coming up for the second time. Let's get one more card for this King of Wands to try to figure out, like, more of what's going on in this King of Wands processes. What is this King of Wands, please? One more card for this King of Wands. Thank you. And here we have the Six of Swords. It's, it's done. It's over. Whatever happened in the past, they're wanting to keep it in the past. And they're wanting to move forward into calmer waters with you. No longer wanting to have a spirit of rejection, abandonment, wanting to move through that. What is this five of pentacles, please? What is this five of pentacles for Pisces? Thank you. And for this five of pentacles, we're getting the hangman. Wanting to let go of those feelings of rejection, abandonment. You know, I feel this person also is want, wanting you to let go of a perspective. Let's get one more card for this. 
They're wanting to talk about the reasons why you may have let them go. The hangman is also Pisces. So here we're, we have Scorpio and Pisces energy. What is this five of pentacles, please? One more card. One more card for this five of pentacles, please. They may also want to talk for some of you. If you have been shut out of a person's life, they may have wanted to speak with you about the reasons why they may have shut you out. What is this five of pentacles? One more card, please. Thank you. And we, yeah, we have the high priestess coming out for the second time. So we have wanting to talk, wanting to discuss the reasons for feeling out in the cold, rejected, abandoned, maybe even going through ill health, letting go of that old paradigm, letting go of that and going forward intuitively um, towards a new brighter future. Let's see what this queen of cups is. What is this queen of cups for Pisces, please? What is this? Thank you. For the queen of cups here, we are getting crap guys. This is a triple death. This is a triple death here. So we're seeing, you know, this is, it's also very heavily Scorpio energy. So we're seeing, you know, something has ended and you can never go back to where you were with it before. Let's see what this death card is. Spirit, what do we need to know about this death card? King of Swords and the key, the Queen, or psh, tongue tongue um so we're having it's over there's no way no way to get past it um the eight of swords here and the eight of swords here with the king of swords a decision is going to be final let's see what what's going on in these energies what is this eight of swords here for pisces please what is this eight of swords for pisces please spirit What is this Eight of Swords, please, Spirit? Show us clearly what this Eight of Swords is. You're not even looking. You're not entertaining the past. What is this Eight of Swords? Show us clearly, please, Spirit. I guess it won't come out. Let's see. What is this Eight of Swords here, please, Spirit? Why? Why do we have the Eight of Swords here? Okay, let's move on to this King of Swords. King of Swords, Masculine, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. Why is this King of Swords here? And then here for the King of Swords, we are getting the Magician. This is kind of crazy. We have the Eight of Swords, Magician, Eight of Swords, Magician. Somebody may have been blind to their own utilization of manipulation. Let's get one more card for this King of Swords. You're also making a decision to manifest something new. One more card for this King of Swords, please. Now, the King of Swords can be somebody with advanced mastery, a lawyer, a doctor, somebody with an advanced degree as well. One more card for this King of Swords. And we have the Nine of Wands coming out again too, but we're, we're seeing refocusing, a need to refocus your energy, rechannel. Thank you, Spirit. Um, that's a, a better way to say this. It's a way to rechannel your energy. It, it does seem as though there is some stress and anxiety either on your part or on an external sources. That's the best way to say that an external sources behalf regarding a burden or even toxic behavior um, that really made things at an impasse. There was feelings of rejection, feelings of abandonment. There may have even been ill health involved. Um, Ill perspectives, a little bit of drama in the past, but things are changing. And it's evident that things are changing because we have the death card, death card, death card. Death is permanent, irreversible change. Spirit, one card for the overall energy of this. Thank you. And then we have the waiting game. So it seems as though you may have been waiting for something to change or this other person may have been waiting on something. One more card for the overall energy of this reading, please, for Pisces. Thank you suffering in silence so you know we're getting confirmations here that there was in fact a waiting period however you define that and during that waiting period there was suffering in silence which we are seeing the nine of swords suffering eight of swords in silence in your own self-imposed imprisonment the five of pentacles 
Eight of Swords, Nine of Wands. You know, we do see the elements of suffering in this reading. And, but moreover, the thing that's really pivotal in this reading is the time, the application or reapplication of carrying a burden 10, 1 plus 0, and transforming that into a decision to go into a new beginning. So we see there is a new beginning here. Let's pull one herb oracle for you. One herb oracle for Pisces, please, Spirit. So please take the parts of this that resonate with you. You know, we have the death card here, so it's a triple death. Death of ego, pride, selfishness. One herb oracle for Pisces, please, Spirit. Show us clearly what Pisces needs to see. Thank you. And we have two coming out. The first one we have here is heart healing. So during the waiting period, there was time for somebody to, as they were suffering in silence, to heal their heart and to become more in alignment with their life purpose. And they may have even seen, or you, Pisces, during the period of waiting, may have even seen a renewal in your life purpose. And that's why we see you energetically shifting, moving into a new manifestation. You know, it's interesting because we have death card three times and we have the magician card three times as well. So we see an irreversible decision to manifest something new, something much more powerful, something much more foundational in your world, independent of another person, independent of another energy, this is you, Pisces, making choices based on your intuition, based on where you've been, and on the choices to let go and move forward. Spirit, one fortune oracle for Pisces, please. One fortune oracle for Pisces, please, Spirit. One fortune oracle for Pisces, thank you. And here we have transformation. Reach out for the power and strength to make changes, enrich your life, and become the person you want to be. So, you know, this is what we're seeing is you have gone through transformation or are going through a transformation. We have the tower here as well. The tower is very transformative. The tower frees you from the devil and enables you to move forward into healing, into new foundations, into new energies. Spirit, one angel answers for Pisces, please. For your angel answers today, Pisces, we are getting perfect timing. So now is the time for your transformation to, you know, look at your life purpose, to realize the enormity of heart healing that you've gone through, understanding that the waiting game wasn't, or the waiting wasn't punishment. It was time for you to do that healing while it may have seemed as though you were suffering in silence, suffering alone, a lot of things were coming together. And now is the perfect time for this transformation to take place. I'm going to pull one more card um, and ask what the transformation is and see if Spirit will give us a little bit more insight into what specific specifically is transforming for, for the collective. Spirit, what specifically is transformed? Wow, that was quick. All right. In your health, I will honor the physical vessel that enshrines my soul. So you are changing on a cellular, organic level, your mental health, your emotional health, your physical health are transforming. And if you're not doing things in support of health betterment, this is a message for, from spirit to encourage you to honor the physical vessel that enshrines your soul. Remember that your body is the temple within it. Your soul lives your, you know, it gets you through life it, and it supports your very breath. This is the message that I have for you today, Pisces. God bless.